right, and let's find the baby for a spell. Yes, I'm gonna be riding this um, within the city, so I won't be able to do a top speed run or a 0 to 100, but I'll try to do a 0 to 60. And you know what I'm impressed with this bike, uh, the, the bottom end on this bike is actually much uh, better than that of uh, Hornet. Hello guys, so welcome to Pro Rider Vlogs. I'm in front of uh, Tansi Honda hoodie here to review the CB Hornet 160R 2018 edition. So let's uh, go straight to the speedometer. Things that have changed. I'm not sure if it's uh, visible on this video, but um, the speedometer is, you know, it has a, a blue backlit and and also the switches. And the switches right here, they have improved. Uh, you know, the feedback is. Uh, it's quite different from the older versions. You'll have to press it really hard uh, to navigate around. Now it's you know quite smooth. It's, it's smoother than before. And the switch gear, you now have a hazard switch. And the overall quality of the switch gear has improved. You don't really get uh, the switches from the 125cc commuters anymore. So the switch gear quality has slightly improved. Uh, I'm not really sure, you know, what these things do, but it kind of looks different from the previous generation Hornets. But I think that's just a cosmetic upgrade. And yeah, you know, considering the fact that it still has the same 37mm friend folks. And the next major uh, update are these stickers. And I have to admit, these stickers look uh, much sharper than uh, the ones in the 2017 edition. And I really like this striking green color. And I believe the, the red version also looks good with those uh, black stickers. Overall, I would say uh, Hornet looks better than before. Now, coming over to the headlamps, it now gets an all LED unit. Unfortunately, Honda has still not uh, provided DC uh, setup for this. Now, apart from that, apart from this uh, you know, headlamp being all LED, you also have uh, DRLs here. I don't think if anyone has noticed, but this part right here, now that's the new DRLs on Hornet. And the intensity of the headlamp, I think, is quite decent, but we cannot comment on that for sure unless you know, we take it out for our night ride. But coming to the next uh, major change, I think it would be the chain. A lot of customers have complained of uh, chain issues in the 2016 and 2017 uh, editions of Hornet. So, to fix that, Honda has now provided a sealed chain for the 2018 Hornet. If you observe closely, uh, yeah, if you, if you see right here, uh, you see these extra things right here. You don't you don't have them in the older Hornets. And Honda says that uh, you know it requires lesser maintenance now, and uh, it's going to increase the chain life. Uh, this uh, one more change uh, in the 2018 Hornet. If you just open the seat, uh, you see the air filter box here. Uh, looks like Honda's improved the quality of this as well. It's not really easy to take it out, but I think uh, it's going to improve the life of the air filter. The air filter is now less prone to dust. and. You can just see like overall uh, Honda has really improved the quality of this 
2018 edition of Audi. Apart from that, the exhaust note is slightly smoother than the previous Hornets. And I believe Honda has also reduced the power. The newer ones uh, makes around 14.9 bhp and it uh, churns out about 14.5 Newton meter of torque. The 2016 editions at 15.6 and uh, 14.75 Newton meter of torque. So I'm not sure how it's going to affect the performance of this vehicle, but we'll find out when we take it for a spin.